Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a personal prophecy uh, for a woman uh, called Joyce. And uh, uh, if you're just tuning in on YouTube and watching this, uh, this is just a, a typical prophecy, and uh, you can go to the description tag underneath uh, the video and uh, find my website and request your own prophecy. Uh, if some things in this video relate to you and resonate to you, that's just like the Bible having uh, been written 2,000 years ago for other people uh, relating to us and verses in the Bible relating to us. Uh, the same is true of prophecy. It can be for another person, but it can also relate to us. So uh, if you're watching this prophecy, please enjoy it and uh, get uh, what parts of it uh, that uh, make sense to you for yourself. But uh, this is for Joyce, and I'll just pray, uh, Joyce, and uh, commit this uh, to the Lord and uh, give you a prophecy. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, you would give me a word for Joyce, a word to bless her, encourage her, and lift her spirits up in Jesus' name. I ask, amen. I, I get a sense uh, of uh, Jesus and the Father and and the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, I'm going to title uh, this uh, video, We Want to Be Your Friends. And uh, I sense that uh, the whole Trinity, each one of the three, I'm hearing the voices of the whole three, uh, a sense that uh, they want to take you into a level of depth of intimacy, which is uh, really rare uh, for the average person. Uh, there's not uh, many uh, Christians at all, not a high percentage of Christians, not more than 5% uh, of Christians, develop an intimate uh, relationship uh, with uh, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and uh, a sense that each of them uh, want to uh, develop uh, a highly functional uh, relationship uh, with uh, you. Um, I have uh, a service called the Prophetic Destiny Blueprint where I uh, list uh, nine things uh, that uh, a person is called to, and uh, I, uh, uh, without doing the destiny blueprint, I can see that you're called to be a prophet, you're called to be a seer, you're called to be a friend of God, you're called to be a writer, you're, you're called to be a uh, 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 visitor to the heavenlies, uh, you're called uh, to be a mentor, uh, uh, a mentor and coach, you called to be apostolic, which is to move in uh, all the fivefold ministry. Uh, so there are a number of things that you called. Um, I, I, uh, uh, you called to be a teacher. Um, I, uh, I sense that uh, you're going to have uh, develop a, like a really uh, strong and working uh, relationship uh, with God. Um, I it's it's going to be uh, tremendously intimate and uh, prophetic, and uh, it's uh, going to be almost uh, uh, like a Enoch uh, sort of relationship. But it's a really uh, close and uh, personal relationship uh, with with God. Uh, you're going to uh, know uh, Jesus very well uh, each. Uh, waking moment from the time you wake up to the time you uh, uh, have the last conscious thought at night. Uh, before you sleep, you're going to be directed and led by the Holy Spirit. I sense you're already uh, being led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is going to be very intimate uh, with you. Uh, Jesus is uh, going to be uh, very intimate with you and God uh, is going to be a uh, very intimate uh, with you. Um, a sense that God is going to use you uh, to uh, speak forth 
some of the things uh, he wants uh, the world to know uh, according to your sphere of influence you can only really influence uh, the people you know uh, unless you subscribe to a Christian magazine and, and get printed in the Christian magazine which I would uh, you know Elijah List or Identity Network have got Christian magazines I've been published in Identity Network but didn't qualify for a larger list. Um, I uh, would encourage you to uh, reach out and that. Uh, there's, there's years between when you find out uh, that you're going to be uh, called to be a prophet until you're actually in the office of prophet. So I'm not sure how many uh, years you have left, but I sense that... Uh, that uh, well, I know that uh, the world uh, needs to be retaught things, uh, that uh, currently uh, the world has uh, blind leaders leading the blind, and uh, there's not uh, much of uh, Jesus' actual teaching uh, being taught uh, by the Christian leaders in the church. And Christians really need to be uh, taught uh, what Jesus taught and really need to be walking in what Jesus taught. Jesus said in Matthew 7, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them will be likened to a wise man who built his house upon the rocks. When the storm came, the house remained, but he who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, uh, he'll be likened to a fool who built his house on the sand and when the storm came his house fell and uh, the majority of Christians in the world uh, don't understand uh, Jesus parables and uh, his teachings and so they haven't built their life upon the rock and uh, and uh, they'll find uh, in uh, coming years that as tribulation comes that uh, many of them will fall and uh, a sense that uh, God wants to use you to bring teaching, uh, to uh, train the people, to teach the people, to teach people truth. Uh, I, I see you uh, bringing like a new gospel, uh, a new message uh, that uh, will restore people uh, to their fathers, to restore people to what the ancient uh, fathers of, of the early church uh, preached and, and taught, and uh, I can see you uh, aligning uh, the modern uh, church uh, with uh, what fundamentally used to uh, work in the early church, and I can see you doing that through uh, videos, uh, podcasts, and uh, and uh, and uh, audio books, and uh, I can see you. Uh, doing that uh, uh, in pulpits uh, and uh, see you uh, bringing transformational uh, information and uh, almost uh, being used as uh, the word uh, the Holy Spirit gives me as a catalyst, like uh, an agent of, of change and uh, a sense that uh, we would be... Uh, uh, very well aligned as friends uh, personally because I've got uh, the same calling. I, I wrote 121 books uh, before uh, the Holy Spirit had me uh, put that down and uh, I'm continuing uh, to uh, publish vi videos uh, now. Uh, but um, I sense that, uh, that uh, you're going to mentor people and disciple people uh, uh, I, I sense that uh, you're going to write uh, many books. Uh, I sense that uh, you're going to teach many people. And uh, I, I sense that you're going to be used as a mentor and a coach, even like a life coach, uh, to steer people uh, in the right direction and steer people uh, prophetically into uh, their destinies. Uh, I can see you visiting heaven. I can see you... Uh, having uh, a cloud of witnesses and uh, people in heaven uh, that mentor you and direct you. I can see you uh, taking people on trips to heaven. Uh, I can see you 
operating uh, as evangelistic. I can see you even maybe even pastoring a small group or a church. Uh, I can see you moving in uh, fivefold offices of, of of the calling and being apostolic in that way. You see, you are doing uh, many things. Uh, I I see like a open checkbook, and and all the checks have been signed by Jesus, and it's like you can write your own ticket. I I see you like in a travel agent, and uh, you you've got uh, unlimited funds, and you can just write yourself tickets anywhere you want to go in the world. Uh, if you put those destinations in the world into uh, what you can teach, you can teach anything or you can do anything. Um, I sense uh, that uh, the position, there's a uh, favour on you, there's a uh, favour of the Lord on your life and uh, the Lord uh, wants to bless you and lead you and equip you. Uh, there's just so much possible uh, for you that it's hard to narrow it down. Uh, but I sense uh, the number one uh, strength um that uh, you have is uh that uh uh we all want to be close to you uh the holy spirit uh the father and jesus uh all want to be uh close to you and uh and want to uh, lead you and direct you and be intimate uh with uh with you uh pray that this has blessed you uh you're already a friend of Facebook, uh, I look forward to speaking to you at length. God bless.